are you new to Gmail or have been using it for a while and would like to learn some new features? What we're going to go over today is the top five features of Gmail that you should be using to help make it more customized to fit your needs. As we jump in, it would be great if you could hit thumbs up or subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. Uh, it does help a lot in uh, getting my name out there and uh, creating videos to help you guys in your businesses. Also, if you guys do want to catch me live, I do stream every Sunday and Thursday night. I'll link to that in the description below. And you can come over there and chat with me live if you have any questions about Gmail or how to make it even a little bit better for you. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about the Gmail features. So our first feature we're going to talk about are the settings you can change to make Gmail more customized to the way you like it. So let's go ahead and hop over and we're going to talk about those. So what you see here is a brand new setup of Gmail. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go over into our settings and we're going to go through some customizations, some things that you might like. Um, so first off, do you want default, comfortable or compact? So this is the size between your emails. Uh, compact just brings them closer together. Comfortable is the default. Uh, so I keep it there. And then you can pick a theme. So a theme changes the background if you don't like the white. I personally, I really like the clouds. So I'm going to pick that. But you can pick any theme you want. You just click it. It'll save it and change the background. So I'm going to pick that. Click save because I like this look a little bit more than just the white background. All right. So we're going to go back to our settings. And what you'll see here is we're going to scroll down to inbox type. So important first, basically what that does is as you start using Gmail more, you can mark messages as important. Um, what that does obviously is mark them as important. And then you can customize your inbox based off of that. You can also just go unread first. If you like to have your unread at the top and then everything else down below. Starred first means anything that you start. So let's say, I think this is a really important email. It's going to bring it up into starred first. So start is going to be there and then the rest of your emails. Priority inbox is what I use. So anything important and unread. So this is if you've marked emails as important and they're unread, not or, but and, then they show up here. Uh, then goes your start emails and then everything else. I really like this because the emails that I find important, I mark them as important. I've done that for a little while. So Gmail knows uh, what messages should be important and what shouldn't. So the ones that I really need to see come up there, but all my junk just kind of goes down into everything else. Uh, do be careful with that because I have had a couple when I was first setting it up where they showed up and everything else. So just make sure every once in a while you do go down and check everything else if you're going to use this. Then finally, multiple inboxes. I haven't used this much, but you can customize to say, hey, here, you can set up your own search filters and customize this area. So this is, is starred, is drafts, um, and basically inboxes is like your, your different folders in um, Gmail. So I'm going to click back to priority inbox because that's personally my favorite. Uh, and then the next section down here is your reading pane. So your reading pane goes over where you want it. Do you want it right of inbox? We'll go ahead and reload. And what that does is brings a little reading pane here and you can click on a message and it brings up the message. So then you read it, you go through, okay, you're done. Move on to the next message. And you, just like any other program where you have a reading pane, you could also move the reading pane down to the bottom and have it there also. Personally, I don't like the reading pane. I know a lot of people do. So I'm going to leave mine as no split. Uh, this last checkbox down here is conversation view. What this does is if you have replies to, in, to emails, it puts them all in a conversation mode and brings all of the emails that you've emailed back and forth with somebody in the same conversation. So when you click an email, there'll be the thread of emails right there. Easy to access. I really like it. I definitely recommend leaving it on. But if you don't like conversation mode, that's how you turn it off. All right, now that we have our settings set up and it's more customized for you, we're going to hop on to number two, which is setting up your signature and making your emails more personalized. So let's go ahead and move into those advanced settings and we'll do that now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a signature. I'm not going to show you from this spot here because most people don't have this window. 
I'm actually going to go ahead and close it. Uh, but let's click settings and see all settings. If you scroll down to the bottom, just up a little bit is this bar right here that says signature. We're going to go ahead and create a new uh, signature name, uh, generic. And what I always have at the end of my emails is just thanks, Josiah. Oh man, I can't type my name. And then that's it. So then you can set a default, say, hey, for new emails, use this. If I'm going to reply, use my generic one. So this right here, personally, I would click this. So what it does when you normally reply to a message, um, your quoted text is what you're replying to, all that stuff below. I like to have my signature above that so people can see my signature without scrolling to the far bottom. So personally, I like that there. All right, number three, what we're gonna talk about is out of office replies. These can be used uh, as a generic response to every email or for like most people, you use them as an out of office reply when you leave the office. So let's go ahead and hop over and I'll show you those settings. Another really important setting in here, if you scroll all the way down, is vacation responder. So this is where you turn on your out of office, uh, any messages that you want to automatically send from an email inbox. So uh, you can say, hey, I'm out of office. Then you can say, please contact support or whatever message you want in there. Uh, and then make sure that you save your changes. And you'll see here when you're out of office that it is automatically set up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back off. All right, number four, what we're gonna talk about is labels. So think of labels as folders. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hop over. I'm gonna show you how to create labels and use them and filters. So labels are all these things over here on the left in your inbox. And when you scroll down, say more, and you can see them all. Labels are really helpful. Think of them as folders. So really you're just creating folders to put your email into. So um, create new label. Okay, I want a shopping label. So I'm gonna have that. Anything that has to do with shopping, I'm just gonna start sliding conversations into that. So that way I can come into my labels and I can say, oh, I wanna see all my shopping stuff and click that first. Um, so that's kind of the idea of labels. Is they're really folders for your email. So think of them that way. And finally, at number five, after we have created our labels, we're gonna go ahead and create filters. You can use filters to filter out email you don't wanna see, or to put it in a certain label and move them there so you don't have to see them in your inbox just when you wanna check them. So let's go ahead and hop over and I'll show you that. So filters are really helpful, especially with labels. So I can create a new filter and say, if it's from uh, no reply at amazon.com. I can say, hey, if it is from there, I want you to create a filter and I want you to automatically apply the label shopping. And so it's gonna move there. And if I want it to, I can also have it skip the inbox. So that way I don't have to see it in my inbox. It just goes straight to that folder for when I'm ready to look at it later. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that filter. Filters can become very powerful. Uh, for filtering out messages you don't want, for starring messages that are really important, and it will search that filter. And once that search is done, you can go ahead and click this down arrow here and create a filter based off of that specific search. And guys, again, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite feature is. Uh, and if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or hit that thumbs up. It really does help support my business so we can continue to grow and make videos to help support you. So I appreciate you sticking around and checking out those top five features in Gmail. And I will see you guys next time.